Hi, today we're going to be making this Vince Lombardi replica imitation football trophy. Great for a Super Bowl party, football party, great centerpiece. So we're starting off with this foam football. I got mine at the Dollar Tree. And I also got this shower curtain at the Dollar Tree. Then I'm going to use this metallic paint that gives a really nice glass-like finish, almost like a mirror. And while this is drying, we're going to put a good coat on half of it, leave it to dry, and we'll go inside and start working on the face. Now I've made a template that you can email me and I'll send you um, I'll email it to you. I'm not trying to collect anyone's email address or anything. I'm just trying to help out. And I'm also going to use a used mailing box. Just any box you have laying around. And after I've cut out my uh, shape from the template, I'm going to use my straight edge to score, but not not cut all the way through just to score these little tabs I've made. This will help them to bend so that when you and I'm also going to put um, score the lines for where the shape is going to bend. Now this one's not going to be perfect um, because I'm not using my template that shows my mark my cutting mark but you'll get the idea. So you're going to put your edge of your uh, straight straight edge right there where the, the corner, you'll have a little corner. And then if you use your template, it'll show you where the top of it needs to be. I'm not using my template. I'm just freehanding. There's the other corner. We're going to, you just cut part way through so that it'll bend on a nice straight edge. And I'm gonna form it into the shape, just bending it on the lines that we just scored. And then you bend in these little notches because that's where you're gonna put your hot glue. You can use other glues. I've tried E6000 and it takes too long to dry. So I form it like this and then take the hot glue gun and you're just going to glue it right there where the notches are. Then you could put a rubber band around to hold it. Now we're going to figure out where, where we want the football. And you want to have it leaning kind of forward and line up the line. There's a line down the middle of the football. You want to kind of line it up with the, the back of your triangle and then line up the stitches with the center of the front of your triangle. So now I'm just going to put hot glue on here, which another good idea if you have newspaper is to cram some newspaper from the bottom up and then you can load it up with hot glue too, which makes it even sturdier. Because you see we have a really small edge to hold the football. I'm going to get it lined up. I'm also going to put an extra line of hot glue around it after I've got it where I want it to kind of reinforce it. You see how it's lined up right there? And then try to line up those stitches with the middle. And we're going to put another bead of hot glue and then spray it with the spray paint. So just in case your poster board doesn't come all the way up, it'll still all be silver. Now this glossy silver poster board is kind of hard to find. It's called metallic silver poster board. Kind of hard to find and a little bit expensive because often you have to buy it in bulk. Anyway, you, you wrap that around Put a bead of super glue. 
I like to have it where one edge kind of folds over and then the other edge comes right up to it. I didn't do that on this one, but pretty much there you have it. Then you go online, find you an NFL sticker or make your own sticker. Maybe it's for your kid's football team. You can put their football team name and there you go. All finished. Please like and subscribe to my channel and come back for the next video. Have a good day.